Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first try to install a certificate authority on this virtual machine. If you look here in the servo tools, we don't have a certificate authority installed. Ideally, when you create a certificate authority, you're gonna create it on a standalone device that you would then keep offline to help protect it. Your root certificate authority, you always wanna keep that offline at all times because if that is ever compromised, all of your security certificates to all of your devices, basically those would be compromised as well and you'd be giving out the keys to the kingdom. So let's go ahead and try and set this up. So we're gonna activate PowerShell. And Tempe, thanks so much for watching the videos. I'm glad they're helpful for you. So we're gonna run PowerShell as administrator. So I'm gonna right click on PowerShell, run as administrator. <clears throat> and then with a lot of things you do with Windows, I recommend looking through uh, Windows or Microsoft documentation. That's how, if you ever call you know, Windows tech support or anything like that, those tech guys, they will look through the documentation to give you advice. So these are used by administrators across the world to learn how to do things or to reference different commands. Because you know, it's not often that you have to do certain tasks, so it's good to have that reference. So what we're doing, we're gonna be setting up a PowerShell command add Windows feature, and then we're gonna add uh, the certificate authority here. That's ADCS-cert, NAS authority, space, include management tools. Okay, I think that's correct. I wanna make sure I spelled that right. Let's see if that works. So it looks like it's running pretty well. So I think we're doing okay here with our installation. If you're a fan of streams, you know that, you know, sometimes I don't spell things the way they should be. <laughs> We've just, I'd say I'd have disagreements with how things should be spelled. We'll, we'll say it that way. All right, but once that runs, okay. So that looks like it, it's good. It's installed there. So let's go ahead and uh, install some features. So let's try and install the certification authority itself. Now let, let me just check to see if that added any features here or if we need to restart first. Yep, so that works. And now we have certificate authority here. You know, with the drop down menu, we didn't have that before. Now we have certificate authority. So excellent. So what we're going to be doing is what I just advised against. We're going to be creating the root certificate authority on this domain controller. You don't want to do that in a real environment. This is our lab environment though. I don't really want to set up a whole nother device just to be the certificate authority in the lab. So we're going to do it this way. Really this domain controller is acting like it's wearing a lot of different hats. It's acting as the all the different servers you would have in a typical environment. So instead of setting up multiple servers, we're just setting up one server here that does pretty much everything, which is fine. It's a learning environment. You know, it's designed to help us learn these tasks, not so much creating a real production environment. If we want to do that, we just get a job as an admin. <laughs> all right, so I think that's correct. So we're installing the root ca here. That's good. Y for yes. So we're installing the root car. I think, I think that was successful. It says we have an error ID, but I don't see an error associated with it. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We go to tools now, we should see certificate authority, and we do, so let's check that. Yep, and here we have uh, domain Cybercraft DC1 CA, certificate authority. So we have that, we have our full functionality that you'd have with your certificate authority, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and start issuing certificates, creating our own certificates, so that's great. Yeah, I'm glad the tests are not on spelling too. I would probably do pretty poorly. <laughs> especially when it comes to the commands. Though some of the test questions, you are put in the a simulated terminal and you really do need to memorize how to do those basics, those basic commands, you know, the IP config commands, TCP dump, ARP, 
you got to remember those syntaxes. Otherwise, you will lose points. But let's go ahead and uh, go through here. So we see our, our CA right now is Cybercraft DC1 CA. And what we're going to go is we're going to create a certificate template. So I'm going to create a certificate template. And there's a couple different templates. We can set up Kerberos authentication here. Uh, we can do this for email if we like. We can create server authentication for our web servers, for different client authentications or different computers. So if you want to set up a, a certificate for a Windows 10 device, we can do that. So what we want to do is uh, let's look at the web server. And here we have, we don't have any templates really set up, but what we can do here is we can go to action we go to properties. We can adjust this as we need to. So that's fantastic. So let's go ahead and create a new certificate now. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go back to server manager. We're gonna go to tools and IIS here. And I think we have IIS installed. If not, we're gonna have to add it. I think we'll have to add it here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm looking for the uh, IIS installation features here. So what we have to do is we'll have to go to server manager, we're gonna to have to add roles and features. Okay, so let's add roles and features right here. We're gonna use the wizard. All right, and then basically all I did, you know, to figure this out, nothing magical, because I'm not gonna remember how to do this from, you know, last time I had to do this probably a year ago, uh, is set this up looking through the Windows documentation. I'm just following these step by steps. And again, I highly advise that you do this throughout your cybersecurity career. If you need to learn something, you don't know how to do something, look it up. It's there for you. You'll find the information online. It's fine. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be just following this. Uh, we're gonna be doing a role-based uh, installation here. We're gonna select our server here that we have. And here we're gonna go through and find our service. So that should be web server IIS down here. Yep, we're gonna hit add features. Next, all right, on web server role, we should make sure that ASP.NET is configured, I believe. I'm gonna check IIS client certificate mapping authentication because we are working with certificates. And let's add uh, scripts and tools. And then here we go, ASP.NET 4.7. We're gonna add that feature, management service. Okay, very good. So that should work. All right, now we hit next and then we install. We got ASP.NET on there, we got IS management tools. Looks good. All right, so let's go ahead and install that. It's going to start the installation. We got a different colored installation bar this time, a little different than PowerShell. So now we have a dark blue instead of that, that bright yellow. <laughs> but both of these are, are working well and we're installing our certificates just like we need to. It's important to understand, you know, if you, it's important to understand how to do things in, in cybersecurity is one of those unique fields where you really have to, you have to know so much to do your job that you really need to know more so how to find the information and how to gather information than you do memorizing that information. So I think that's incredibly important for problem solving to become effective in the field, uh, especially if you become in a leadership role, how to help manage your team and help show them where to find that information. Otherwise, you're gonna be bombarded with requests every day. People ask you, how do I do this? How do I do this? If you teach them, 
and you take the time to mentor your team on how to find that information, develop themselves, then you're going to be a lot better off. And it's going to help you. It's going to help your workload and it's going to help your team function more effectively. All right, but the installation succeeded, so that's fantastic. All right, we can go away from here now. Let's see if we have IIS, and here we have IIS, so that worked out great. Well done. All right, so now we can open up IIS. We have that installed, and now what we want to do is we have our DC1 Cybercraft Administrator. <clears throat> Now let's see, we should have, and we have server certificates here. We can, we should be able to open that. We have all of our different applets here. These little icons are called applets. Uh, so what we want to do is server certificates. We want to open this. And here we have our different certificates that we have right now. Right now we should just have our, our root certificate, which we have here. You see that here. So now what we want to do is we want to create a domain certificate. So on the actions on the right, create domain certificate. We can do it. So let's do that right there. Create domain certificate. So we're going to create a common name for the certificate. A common name usually has a specific naming convention. Basically, it's similar to how a website would be named. So I'm going to name this, let's call this updates uh, dot cybercraft training dot com. <laughs> we'll make this simple. Remember that we're just using this for practice here. We're going to call this cybercraft uh, and then we'll say cybercraft admin and we'll say Okay. All right, so now we're going to select our certificate authority here. So we're going to select, guess which certificate authority, the only certificate authority we have, DC1. And we're going to name that uh, Cybercraft Com. All right. Okay. So I probably should name that something different. That's fine. Okay, so here we go. We have our domain certificate there. Updates at cybercrafttraining.com. And we have a certificate hash here. Can I guess what certificate, ha what hash that is? How's it going there, Beef Wellington? Yeah, this is a SHA 256 hash. Okay, secure, secure hashing algorithm 256 using RSA, Revis Shamir Adelman uh, algorithm right there. So signature algorithm, R SHA 256 RSA, and the hash is a SHA 256 hash. Okay. And we have a public key, which is calculated through RSA. Here it is pictured in hexadecimal. It's 1,024 bits. You can see the whole key right here. So fantastic. And this can be used for technologies like S-MIME. So if you want to incorporate that, you have that functionality with this key as well. So we can use this for to encipher other keys or to do, use make it as a digital signature. This is ideally used to secure one of our web servers. So that's fantastic. And then we have our certificate path. The path of the certificate, certificates are created in a hierarchy. So you, they originate from the root certificate authority. And then you may have intermediate certificate authorities below that. Here, we only have the DC1 certificate authority, and then we have our, our certificate, which I've kind of confusingly named uh, Cybercraft Cough. But that's okay. All right, and then so what we can do is we can issue the certificate to various web servers that we have. We can use this within our environment and the certificate can be used to provide authentication. So we require certificates 
the certificate to be referenced or validated before someone signed on to our web server, for example. So overall, this is, this is very successful. We've created our, our web certificate here. Now we can, what we can do is we can bind this to a device, but we'll get into that another time. Uh, right now, the scope of this, I wanted to make sure that we created our certificate and that we showed you how to install these services on a Windows server and then set up that certificate authority and then create a certificate. Going through the authentication piece, we'll cover another uh, stream, but I appreciate you joining. Hope this was very helpful. And if you need, you know, if you're looking for any type of cybersecurity training, you know, check out cybercrafttraining.com. We got Security Plus, all the CompTIA certifications, EC Council, ISC Squared, ISACA certifications, anything to help advance your career. So I hope that helps. Thanks so much for joining in today. Have a great day, great job. Mm -hmm.